Hi, here is a nice proof regarding convergence of the series. In today's video, I'm going to use a technique or a tool uh, which can help us to recognize our series, whether convergence or divergence. Okay, we are going to use something is called the ratio test. In fact, this ratio test is a quicker method can tell us this series converges or diverges. Okay, so let's set this is a limit of absolute value of a is a limit of a ratio which is absolute value of a sub n plus one over a sub n okay as n goes to infinity equal to the infinite equal to finite limit let's call it l okay now we are going through three cases this l between zero and one implies the series a sub n converges series if l strictly superior than one implies this series a sub n the third and last case if we have l equal to one implies this test this test does not provide any information now i'm moving on to the proof I'm going to prove the first case. L is between zero. L strictly inferior than one. Okay. The limit of absolute value of a sub n plus one. The limit of this ratio a sub n plus one over a sub n uh, equal to L is strictly inferior than one. Okay. As n goes to infinity. There exists R such that we have this condition L is between 0 and R and 1. Let's set epsilon equal to R minus L strictly superior than 0. So that epsilon is a super small arbitrary. There is some capital N such that such as n strictly superior or equal to capital n okay as a limit definition absolute value of this ratio a sub n plus one over a sub n minus l strictly inferior than epsilon okay this is the limit definition for all n strictly superior than capital n okay so this implies I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on the right hand side of this inequality so we'll have a sub n plus one absolute value of a sub n plus one over a sub n so i'm going to bring this out to to the other side so we'll have epsilon plus l epsilon plus l equal to r which is strictly inferior than one okay for all n superior or equal to capital n okay so now this implies Absolute value of capital A sub capital N plus one strictly inferior than R absolute value of A sub capital N. Okay. In the last word, we get to this one. We get to this this inquiry. We have A, A sub capital N plus one strictly inferior than R absolute value of A cap sub capital N okay the second term we will have a sub n plus two strictly inferior than r is multiplied by absolute value of a capital N sub a sub capital N plus one this term is strictly inferior than r square is multiplied by absolute value of a sub capital N okay the second term, the third term, will have a sub capital N plus 3, strictly inferior than R, strictly inferior than R is multiplied by a sub capital N plus 2. This one is strictly inferior than R cubed, is multiplied by absolute value of x, a sub capital N, okay? So the fourth term, I will have a sub capital N plus four, 
Ship tree inferior than R is multiplied by absolute value of A sub capital N plus plus 3. This one is strictly inferior than R to the fourth is multiplied by absolute value of A sub capital N. Okay? And all the way down to infinity. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to collect all the terms which is on the left hand side of this inequality and collect all the terms on the right hand side of this inequality. So by collecting this, all these terms on the left hand side of this inequality is giving us the sum is giving us the sum of a sub n as n goes from n plus 1. So by collecting all the terms on the left hand side of this inequality is giving us the sum of absolute value of a sub n as n as n goes from capital n plus 1 to infinity strictly inferior i'm going to multiply by the absolute value of a sub capital n is multiplied by r plus r squared and all the way down plus r cubed okay plus r to the fourth and all the way down this is the geometry series okay so this one this series absolute value of a sub n as n goes from capital n plus one to infinity strictly inferior and absolute value of a sub capital n is multiplied by this sum is uh, the sum of a the sum of r to the n as n goes from one to infinity okay this is geometry series which converges because the r is strictly inferior than one by using the comparison test, okay, now we, we, we conclude this series is a convergent series as well, because this series is a convergent series, okay? So what does this mean? This mean we have the sum of a sub n as n goes from 1 to infinity, okay? Our goal to prove this series, which is a sub n, as n goes from 1 to infinity as a convergence series when you have this ratio test are strictly inferior than 1 okay so this one absolute value of this series is sub n equal to the sum of a sub n as absolute value as n goes from 1 to the capital n plus the sum of capital n the sum of a sub n as n goes from n plus 1 which is as n goes from capital n plus 1 to the infinity okay if you take a look at this partial sums this series converges series because we have finite series because we have capital n because we have n goes from 1 to capital n which is fi fi finite series this series in the, in the right hand side is a convergence as well because we know that by comparison test, we found this series is conversion, converges, this means this series is convergence. Since we have this, both partial sums are convergent series, thus series of A sub, absolute value of A sub n as n goes from 1 to infinity, absolutely. Finally, the series of A sub n as n goes from 1 to infinity, convergence when we have all strictly inferior than one. Now I'm moving on to the example as a supporter of this proof. Now I have this example. I'm going to calculate the ratio of this example. So I have the limit of absolute value of a sub n plus one over absolute value of a sub n as n goes to infinity. So this one implies L equal to the limit of 2n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial over absolute value of 2n to 2 the n over n factorial as n goes to infinity. This one equal to the limit 
absolute value of 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial is multiplied by n factorial over 2 to the n okay so I'm going to simplify this one so we'll have r r equal to 2 is multiplied by 2 to the n okay over n plus 1 is multiplied by n factorial is multiplied by n factorial here over 2 to n I'm going to simplify this one with this one this n factorial with this one I will have so I will have n as n goes to infinity so this one is given as 0 okay this series of 2 n over n factorial as n goes from 1 to infinity I'm going to do the next case of this proof in next video I have done with this problem just consider the subscribe we will see more examples in next video okay bye